Welcome to Electron Online. There are some viewers that asked if I had videos on capacitors that had multi-layer dielectrics. And it turned out I do kind of, but not really. So here are some very straightforward examples of how to calculate the capacitance of a capacitor that has two dielectric layers in it. So here's the picture of what we're trying to solve. We're trying to find the capacitance of this particular capacitor. Notice that the thickness of each dielectric can be any thickness, so call it D1 and D2, can be any values, and the dielectric constant K1 and K2 can be any value as well. So how do we do that? Let's go back to the beginning, and here's a simple capacitor with air between the plates. The capacitance for a physical capacitor is equal to epsilon sub naught times the area of the plates divided by the distance between the plates, where epsilon sub naught is given right here. If there's a dielectric in there, then you have to multiply that capacitance times the dielectric constant. And you can see that a capacitor with a dielectric has a greater capacitance than a capacitor without the dielectric. Another few things that we need to know, first of all, that the electric field between the capacitor plates will be diminished by the dielectric constant. So if this is the electric field between capacitor plates when there's simply air between the plates, then this will be the electric field between this capacitor, assuming, of course, that the dimensions of the capacitors are the same. We also know that the capacitance can also be calculated by the charge on the plates divided by the voltage difference between the two plates. And we also then, of course, can calculate the electric field magnitude as being the ratio of the potential difference between the plates divided by the distance. One more thing we need to know, that the electric field away from a charged plate can be calculated to be the charge density per unit area divided by epsilon sub naught, or if there's dielectric on top of that, then we have to divide that by 1 over k. Again, you can see that the electric field is being diminished by the dielectric constant, so it needs to be done the same over there. And if we define the charge density by total charge per unit area, we can also write the electric field like this. And of course, I should put absolute value signs around it because we're just giving you the magnitude of that. Now, how do you find the capacitance of this? Well, it turns out if we can find the total potential difference here, we can then figure out the capacitance by simply taking the charge divided by the potential difference. So what we can do then is realize that the potential difference will be divided between these two dielectrics. So we can say that this region here will have potential difference of V1, and this region here will have the potential difference of V2. Which means that I should be able to find the capacitance by doing the following. The capacitance should be, able to, should be able to be found by taking the total charge on the capacitor divided by the sum of the two voltages, because we can see that the total voltage will simply be the sum of the two. Now, can we figure out what V1 and V2 is equal to? Going back over here, we can see that E is equal to V over D, or V is equal to um, the electric field strength times D. And electric field strength can be found by using this equation right here, which means that the potential across the first layer is equal to the electric field strength on the first layer times the distance of the first layer, or the thickness of the first layer. And then we replace E sub 1 by that, and we can say that this is equal to Q times D1 divided by K epsilon sub naught times A. Notice that the area of the plates is the same for both dielectrics. We can do the same for V2. V2 is equal to E2 times D2, which is equal to the charge Q times D2. And I should call this K1 because, of course, the dielectrics are different for both. And this would be Q over times D2 over K2 times epsilon sub naught times A. I can then substitute those two values into my equation right here. So let me come over here. And I can then say that the capacitance of a capacitor with two dielectric layers can be calculated to be Q divided by the sum of the two voltages, which is Q D1 over K1 epsilon sub naught times A. That would be for the first layer. That's the voltage of the first layer plus Q times D2 over K2 epsilon sub naught times A. Notice in the denominator we can factor out a Q an epsilon sub naught and an A. Let's do that. So this is equal to Q divided by 
Q divided by epsilon, epsilon sub naught times A, so I can factor it out, and I have left D1 over K1 plus D2 over K2. Notice that this Q and this Q cancels out, this becomes one, I can bring this to the numerator, and so finally we can say that the capacitance with two layers is going to be equal to epsilon sub naught times A divided by D1 over K1 plus D2 over K2. And that's how you find the capacitance of a capacitor that has two dielectric layers in it. Now let's compare that equation to our original equation. Notice the capacitance is equal to e epsilon sub naught times A divided by the distance. Now notice that the distance will be weighted depending upon the dielectric constant. And so we sum up the distances, so d total will simply be d1 plus d2, but depending upon the dielectric constant, they will have a different weight factor, and it's taken care of by dividing each of those distances by their respective dielectric constants. And that's how we find the capacitance of a capacitor that has two dielectric layers in it. And that's how it's done.